Good morning, Franklin. I'm Eric Stuckey. It's Monday morning, so that's time for the top three things you need to know this week. I'm out here at Franklin Police Headquarters, and that brings us to our first topic. We've got this lovely handmade toy box, and we have our friend the elf hanging out. If you've been following our social media at all this last week or so, and up until Christmas, check out the elf. He's around town. He's doing different things getting into a little mischief here and there. So keep an eye out for the elf. He's not just on the shelf, he's all over town. So check him out. But the toy box that he's hanging out at is really important. Uh, this is a great thing our police department does. We've got 10 of these handmade toy boxes that we will fill with toys and we need your help. Just bring to the Franklin Police Department between now and December 18th and a new unwrapped toy, boy, girl toy, doesn't matter. Uh, we have families that we've identified through the year that can need some help and, and uh, we will get those toys to them. And this toy box was handmade by Brad Lewis. He and his wife Bonnie uh, do this as a gift back to the community and it is an honor of their daughter and grandson, uh, Christy Clark and Carter Oakley, who tragically died about five years ago being Good Samaritans on I-65. They stopped to help an overturned SUV and were tragically uh, hit and killed. So as a, a remembrance for them and honoring them, uh, Mr. Lewis makes these beautiful toy boxes and we fill them every year and we need your help in filling them again this year. This is the fifth year we've done that effort. So proud of our police department, our community to do that in their memory. So that's item number one. They're not the only ones collecting uh, toys and, and, and clothing this year. Our firefighters are doing it as well. This is the 13th year for the Franklin Firefighters Toy and Clothing Drive. You can take a tag off of the fire hydrants that are in front of all eight fire stations and at City Hall. It's got toys, it's got clothing and shoes and those kind of things for children of all ages from our, for our county, from Franklin and, and surrounding areas that need that help as well during the holidays. And they're collecting, and also you can get that at Macy's at the Galleria Mall. So Macy's at any of the fire stations and at City Hall, those are available, and they're collecting those until the 14th of December. So you've just got about a week to do that one. So those are those collections that are going on. And while I'm here at the police department, I wanna highlight some uh, great news that we announced this past week we announced the appointment of two new deputy chiefs to serve here at the Franklin Fire Department. We've had some retirements over the last year, and we filled that, uh, the, the important deputy chief position, with uh, two candidates. One, an internal candidate, J.P. Taylor, who's currently our captain in the fire department. He will move up to deputy chief. He'll oversee uh, administration and criminal investigations and our public affairs section. And then we have hired a uh, police chief out of Springfield, Illinois. Uh, his name is Kenny Winslow. Kenneth Winslow has been a 25 year police veteran and seven years as the police chief in Springfield, will come Springfield, Illinois, and will come here to be our deputy chief overseeing our operations, our field operations and spe special operations group. Not to be outdone, the fire department also appointed, appointed an important leadership position. On Friday, we appointed Greg Baltimore, who has been a battalion chief for 13 years, to the assistant fire chief position. Greg has 28 years with the Franklin Fire Department, over 30 years in the fire service overall, and Greg has served in that assistant chief role in an interim basis since June, and we made it uh, uh, official uh, this past Friday and moving him into that position. So those are your top three things. Let me give you a quick COVID update though. We have made really good progress on the number of active cases. We're now under a thousand active cases and we always track active cases because that's who's got it at any given time. It has reduced 33% in the last seven days and over 40% in the last two weeks. So good progress. Don't let up though. Keep wearing the mask when you can't maintain distance. Wash your hands frequently. Uh, do whatever you can to, to give that distance. And if you're not feeling well, stay home so that we don't have any spread. So those are the things that, that I wanted to highlight for you. Again, fill the toy box here or help with the, uh, the gifts and, and clothing at the Franklin Fire Department or here at the Franklin Police Department. We've also got uh, new promotions in the uh, Police Department and the Fire Department in terms of key leadership positions and uh, we're making progress on COVID. Keep it up. That's it for this week. Take care, have a great week, and stay well.